I know this pandemic came and like shut down a lot of businesses and everything, but I'm not sure if the Guitar Center is going broke, going out of business or whatever, but I feel like they tried to scam me out of money and it wasn't even a lot of money. It was really like $2 or some change. I really feel like they tried to scam me in this weird experience that I had at Guitar Center. I'm about to just show you the video real quick. Watch this. I started recording to document that it took 10 minutes for someone to actually come help me and then this is the greeting that I got. Yes. Yes. I can help you. Just checking out. Yes, sir. All right. This full video was about 20 minutes long. I edited out a lot of the talking in between. I was asking him questions and seeing how helpful he would be for me. Okay. Uh, would you like to round up your total to donate to the Guitar Center Music Foundation? It's a 56 cent donation. Takes you to the nearest dollar and goes towards music and schools. What's the total? Uh, we're at 7.44. It'll take you to eight dollars even. So at this point, I told him that I saw a two-pack for the same price, so I wanted to go ahead and show him so he could tell me if there was a difference. My whole point. Here's one right here. It's got a couple in it. And this one here is six. Oh, million. this one is... This is RCA to TS. So this, this one here? And this one is same thing. RCA to TS. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Well, then in case that's, that's fine then. I just thought I could so get two So I guess it. when I said that's fine, he assumed that I wanted to okay. donate to the charity. All right, cash or cash oh, day. Okay. Your total is eight dollars even. Oh, uh, you donated to the thing for me. Yeah. Oh, I never said that I wanted. Oh, my but bad. It, my you know, bad. it's fine. Since you already did it. Now that I think about it, I don't right, think that this money is going to charity. I think this money is going towards their tips at the end of the night. But that's just my opinion. So this here is for the interface, right? Um. Not necessarily. Uh, it can be for like a headphone adapter. So like, um, if you don't have a pair of studio headphones, for example, right? Right. Um, and then you wanted to take like a 3.5 jack and go into this to plug into the interface, then you could do that. Right, yeah, that's what I was saying. It's yeah. for the interface. Yeah, you can, you, yeah, that that's technically, yeah, what that's for. Okay. With that being said, I'm really glad that I'm recording so that you can know that this man was not helpful and he really wasn't listening and that energy was very, very weird. But wait, it gets a little bit weirder before I walk out the door. Your receipt? Somebody's in there playing? Mm -hmm. You're all set. Um, so my total was $8 even. I gave Let me do, because it's... It does that sometimes. Uh, yeah, I know I owe you too. Uh, I was gonna go grab it for you, uh, from the front. What? The, their change. Oh, you don't have any change? Well, it, it didn't pop over my register. Sometimes it won't pop over my register if it's like a lower amount, which is stupid. It's like a glitch in the system. But I, I'll, I'm gonna grab your change for you. Okay. Should I come with you? Yeah. Okay. Did you hear that excuse? It's a glitch in the system when it's a lower amount. I feel like they really wanted me to just say, you know what, go ahead and take the $2 as your tip. I refuse to tip people who are not helpful. Also, he went to the manager who were talking to a group of white girls and they wanted to put me on hold for $2. This is another reason why I felt like they wanted me to just say, go ahead and take the $2. All right, so the manager was helping this white woman, right? And she was watching me the entire time. So once she realized I was recording, she pretty much told him to come and help me. I'm gonna show you exactly when. Yeah, I gave you a 10, you said it was $8. What's crazy is I drove 30 minutes out to get this piece because online it said it was $4. By the time I got there, it rounded all the way up to $8 and now you're trying to sway me out of two extra dollars. This is why Amazon is the almighty. Okay, so after I turned the camera this way, the Karen lady that the manager was helping actually saw that I was recording and she told him to come help me. Listen. She said, go ahead and help him so she can go do her thing. And then that's when the manager came and you hear him jiggling his keys. When I turned and looked at her, she smiled at me okay. to see if I was going to smile back. They do things like this to fill you out in the situation. Now pay attention because the guy who was helping me is actually the one that's sitting down. And once he gets the money, he doesn't want to actually get up to hand it to me. Listen to how Karen asks if she should step to the side. 
start with it. Um, oh, no, it's okay. Yeah. Like oh, no, it's okay. 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 Oh, no, she only said that because she knew I was recording. Now, what was that about? Was it just me or was that also weird? Y'all let me know in the comments. I don't know. No one even greeted me when I came in the store, so I already knew that the energy was going to be weird. <laughs>